Okay, so after we set up the DVR, we did the setup on the DVR and we did the setup on the Ecvision Connect website. We will download the app. The app name is Hick Connect, exactly like the website. And we install the software, we run it. First time we run the software, we're gonna go to Hick Connect and we will log in with the same username and password that we made or you can log in if you made instead of email you put your phone number so you can log in with your phone number and your password in our case we use username and password so we will type in after we put the login information we're gonna click on login and we will have and we're gonna have this site pop up right away now, what I like to do with the software to make it easier to have the camera start exactly when, when we open in the software, we're gonna go to device and you're gonna have to add the device to the software. So it's gonna have a direct connection. So we go to devices, we click on the plus sign. We're gonna click on manual adding. We give a name to the site. Register mode, we're gonna choose e connect domain and we're gonna choose the site from the list we put the username and password for the DVR not the username and password for the Ecvision connect we're gonna put the username and password for the DVR login in this case it's demo then we will click on save okay if everything entered correctly this is what you should get you should get a number of cameras that you have and everything else should be grayed out click on live view should bring up all the cameras in this case i have only two cameras for the demo you can drag and drop the cameras if you want to different location now i'm going to show you some tricks and tips about this app so you have two cameras this is the division button, so you can divide the screen to 9, 4, 1, 12, or 16. Let's do 4. On the camera that you selected, if you have PTZ camera, you can control a PTZ with this controller. In this case, we don't have a PTZ, so the camera is not going to move anywhere. You want to go out from this feature, we're going to click on the X. If you do have PTZ, we can save preset for example set the camera to a specific location click on set and then when you click on call it's going to go to the exact same location to go back we're just going to click on the x here now this icon is the microphone it's enabling two-way audio so if we have a speaker on the dvr location you can actually talk to the phone and the people that are next to the dvr can hear us the next button is a snapshot so we just got a snapshot of the current live video okay the next one is similar to the snapshot but it's gonna record a video so right now it's recording video of the camera that we see click again and the video stop to get into the gallery we can just click and view the video the last button I want to go over is the quality button so by default all the camera will come on low quality to get into high quality we just gonna click on the quality button and then you can toggle between fluent which is gonna make the video go faster but less quality or to go with more quality but the picture might go less smoother depending on your bandwidth and your internet connection speed but if you want to go full full screen you can always rotate the phone to the side and the picture is going to go full screen okay if you want to watch playback you have the gallery button all the way down and this is the playback interface you will click on one of the windows and you will add the camera that you want to view playback for in this case let's select the front door okay double click on the camera you get it full screen and then you can scroll to the specific date and time that you want to view okay 
you can pause the video if you want and you can go fast forward or slower okay a few more thing i like to show you is uh, first thing how to use the zoom button so if you want a camera on the full screen and you're on a clear mode you want to zoom into a specific area on the screen you can just stretch the picture with your two finger and then just move it to wherever you want to get more details as well you can click on the magnifier just to zoom in step by step if you want to zoom out just use your two finger and zoom out if you want to go full screen you can just rotate your phone to the side and that will get the camera to be on full screen the other feature i want to show you is the audio feature which is this button to enable and disable the microphone in case you have microphone connected to the dvr most dvr can have at least one microphone connected to them now when you enable the dvr you want to make sure you're on clear mode if you're on fluent mode this mode gives priority to the to the video and it's technically disable any other features like like the audio so once you enable the audio you're gonna click on the on the video quality icon and click on clear and now you can actually listen to the microphone if you have microphone connected okay the last thing i want to show you is how to create a favorite group so next time when you open the app the all the cameras on the favorite group will come up so you want to go back to the main window you want to go to devices and open your dvr and select the specific cameras that you want to add to your favorite group so in my case i have only two cameras if you have four cameras you want to select the four cameras if you have eight cameras you want to select all the cameras in my case i have only the back parking and the front door camera after i select those two cameras i will click on the small star here and i will give a name to the group After I click on confirm, I will click on the mark next to the demo group that I made and click on start live view. That will bring up the camera I selected right away. So as I showed you, the one way to view the cameras is from the device menu and you can make your own favorite groups. You can group different type of DVR, more than one DVR if you want. In some phone, when you turn on the phone, when you turn on the app on the phone, the camera might not come up automatically depending on your phone and uh, the specific version of your operating system and the specific version of, of the app so another way to view the cameras is instead from the device menu it's from the e connect menu now here after you add the dvr it's going to show you the last frame from the cameras on the dvr that you have under your account now pressing on the specific camera is going to take you straight to live view for the specific camera and this menu is a little bit different still you have the PTZ control which is similar if you have a PTZ camera you can move it you can manually zoom it the second thing that you have here is two-way audio exactly like the other exactly like the other menu snapshot record video record video it's me record video locally on your phone which means the phone will capture what you see on the screen and keep it on your phone and the quality button which you can toggle between HD quality and lower quality okay the microphone icon it's here and some like the other menu you have to be on HD quality to listen to the audio on the DVR side that's it guys call us or email us if you have any question we're gonna do the best to help you thank you for watching